How do you respond to people who believe you are channeling Jesus or a spirit claiming to be Jesus? Well, firstly, every single person on this planet is able to have their own beliefs. I don't feel any resentment towards a person who has their own beliefs, even if their beliefs are completely the opposite of mine. There are many people who come along to my seminars who have completely different beliefs than what I have. And there are many people who I interact with on a day-to-day basis who do not believe I am Jesus and who do not believe that, uh, you know, and have all sorts of beliefs about myself and also about what they believe is the truth. And, I, and yet I still, you know, interact with them and have a good time with them generally. When it comes to, though, the question, um, my feelings are exactly the same as my feelings that I've stated many times in my seminars, and that is people need to make their assessments by analysing information. And the reality, I, I believe, or I feel, is that most people do not do that. Most people do not make their personal assessments by analysing their own information. They are based upon things that they wish to believe. So there are many people who do not wish to believe that I am Jesus. In fact, most of the people who come along to my seminars do not wish to believe that I am Jesus. And so they are constantly looking for some alternative explanation as to how I am getting all of the information that I am teaching. Bearing in mind that I've taught nearly 700 hours or so of material that is available on YouTube at this present time, and all of this information has been presented off the top of my head, as the saying goes, um, most people have some kind of uh, question about how I'm receiving this information. They believe that I must be receiving this information from some other entity. And, uh, and I know that I am not, but, but they can assume that I am if that's what they wish. I would prefer that they just listen to the material and make their own assumptions based on, on listening to the material. I know that I'm not being influenced by any spirit. And I know that I'm not uh, you know, receiving information from, from spirits or from other people. I'm just tra- giving the information that I remember to groups of people who are willing to listen. But people are able to make their own assessments of what they believe is true. And if people wish to believe that I'm being influenced by a spirit in some way, or that I'm being channeling or a spirit in some way, or getting information from a different entity in some way, well, that's up to them. And, uh, and my feelings are that at some point in the future, they will realize that they were wrong. <laughs> but, uh, but it doesn't really matter either way. If the people listen to the material, they see it's all based around love. It's all based around truth and and very, very logical. And it's also very, very important to understand the information if you wish to have a relationship with God. And most people who have attempted to put it in practice who do not believe that I'm Jesus have found that their relationship with God has developed because they have listened to the material. So my suggestion to people is make your own assessments about me as you wish. But if you listen to the material, you will find that it will definitely assist you in your own relationship with God.